Hurry, get, grab the guns, grab the guns. Freaking Bigfoot, five Bigfoot out there and five jackalopes on top of each Bigfoot shooting blow darts. I don't know if they're, they're Bigfoot or jackalopes. There might be five freaking Mississippians, okay, with chickens with antlers on their head, but they're freaking, they're, it's, they're, it's crazy. Get the gun, hurry up, the guns, the grenades, and the pick of big feet. You guys are creepy. I'm about to brush my teeth here. Um, I'm about to go to Elwood's. Uh, it's a contest where $50 to get in and as many as people like, that's in it, uh, winner takes all. Uh, so I have plans uh, for the money for that. So I'm glad the, the contest um, is around here and I don't have to drive too far. I'm wearing my High Point, my St. Louis High Point um, shirt. So uh, I'm trying to be incognito, so when I get there, right before the contest, I put my shirt on. I don't want them Googling like they do on usually in contests. They Google when they see your name, um, but uh, that'll be less people because you pay when you get there. You don't pay up front, so when you get there, you give them the money. So I want to wait for people to get in the contest before I change my shirt. And when it's too late for the cash intake, we'll take back more cash intake how about that if i win so let me get ready to go and head out the door and i will see you there go post stop recording go post stop recording Hey guys, just pulled up at uh, Elwood Shack. Um, this is in the Lowe's parking lot on Summer Avenue. Um, never been here before, but they're having a contest. Um, it is $50 to get in. Oh, excuse me. Winner takes all. Hopefully I can take all with my stomach like that. Well, um, I think I ate beans last night, so I shouldn't have done that because today I, I'm glad you didn't wake up early and go to the media room because it was fresh in there not fresh <laughs> but uh too much information um but we are here $50 to get in winner takes all so 10 people show up then I win 450 plus my 50 so uh if uh, 20 people show up then I win 950 plus my 50 back so uh if I lose then I lose my $50 but I get a video for you fine folks so I gotta think positive about it so who's getting second though huh are you in it you getting in so I can get your fifty dollars? <laughs> Since she beats me and everything else, huh? Okay. Well, we're gonna get up in here. I'm gonna do a little bit B-roll for you. Put some music in, and we will uh, join you. Uh, if there's more than ten people, I'll have the d different heats. So I think they're putting me in the last heat, but uh, I'll get videos of everybody. Okay, not just me. I'm not gonna see you like that. Depends who you ask. Well, I got here and pulled up and I just got a text saying they had to cancel the event. So I canceled my event out of town um, for a $400 uh, 
uh, challenge uh, to get zero dollars. So now I just got got screwed out some money. That's if I won the, the contest. So I'm gonna go in here and talk to them, and I'll be right back. Well, um, it's not Elwood's fault. Um, it was somebody else throwing the event, but. Uh, the person I emailed that told me that they was they was like signing people up or uh, talking to everybody about it. Um, the gentleman I got a cell phone number and he had never uh, contacted me back until right after I talked to them just now. So uh, I just wasted my time coming to this event. If they would have told me, I would have planned something else. So I, I I'm not too happy. And I told them in there that I they explained it to me, and I'm not. I said I'm not irritated at you at all because you, you told me you wasn't running the event but whoever's running this this event it's this is my full-time job and i told them in there i don't sell dope i don't sell hope i don't sell I, this this is what i do for a living so now i'm just screwed out of a whole day of of um of videos sorry for the rant guys i'm um i'm not even sure if i'm posting this but uh i'm just letting you know i mean it's real life and stuff happens and I try to make the best of it, so I don't know. I'm just going to go home and do the garden and, and other stuff. So, All right, well, until next video, guys. Um, sorry there's not even any eating in this video, but uh, it's not even a vlog. Don't know what to do right now, but I'm getting off here. Talk to you later. Hope you guys have a great day. And um, But if you run any events... Please be courteous enough to get with everybody that's involved to let them know it's been canceled. That's the least that you could do. So, okay. Till then, have a great day unless you made other plans or didn't get told an event was canceled. See ya. Go post stop recording. Well, like they say, don't don't um, count your eggs before they hatch. Uh, I'm glad I didn't buy the material yet, but. Um, I was planning on doing the lean-to, if you saw that vlog, I was going to do a lean-to on the shed and fix uh, this deck, because right where that's at, and right where those are at over there, it's really, really spongy, and you might fall through, so I was going to um, get some new floor joists and some concrete uh, post uh, deals on the bottom and, and get that, 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 that there probably wasn't too expensive, maybe a couple hundred. But this right here is going to be about 800 back here. I was going to do a lean-to from there all the way to the fence. Then build a counter with a little sink in it for her to uh, clean fish and put the zero turn right there. Um, that's going to be postponed for a while. So it's not like I had to do that. I'm probably going to spend the money to do this because I want to make sure the deck is good. Um, but the lean-to is going to take a little while. Um, I'll, I'll wait till I luck up and, and find a contest that actually is happening. But... Uh, I'm gonna get in the house and uh, probably change clothes and, and, and get some stuff done around here that I need to. I need to cut the grass. I need to work on the garden. So uh, there's there's plenty to do. But I'll try to make the best of it, like I said. And uh, I will talk to you later on this vlog. Go post top recording. Hurry, get grab the guns! Grab the guns! Freaking Bigfoot! Five Bigfoot out there and five jackalopes on top of each Bigfoot shooting blow darts. I don't know if they're the Bigfoot or jackalopes. There might be five freaking Mississippians, okay, with chickens with antlers on their head, but they're freaking, they're, it's, they're, it's crazy. Get the gun, hurry up, the guns, the grenades, and the pick of big feet. Well, I did find something to do. Um, I ended up uh, packaging some packages up because some of you disposal team members took advantage of that coupon that I had uh, for till the end of August. So uh, I was doing that. And then I was like, you know what? I need to cut that grass out there with the push mower, like around the trees and stuff. So I started, and I know Mississippi has fire ants. I never messed with them in Illinois, but they have them here. And I thought I slung a couple up on me in one one got me in the head, one got me an arm in the back of my leg. <clears throat> and then about 30 seconds later, 20 or 30 stung the hell out of me. It was like, I'm not sure if they're hornets or what, but hornets can kill people. Uh, 
And uh, I think Tasha, when I told her about it, when I came in, I think she's on the computer getting life insurance on me. I'm not really sure. But I don't have any insurance. Well, what, what was happening, I tore my Achilles, or I thought I tore it, and I thought, well, maybe I just snapped the ligament because it's, it's, I walk it a little better, so it wasn't stinging. Well, I got out there, and once I started running from the Hornets, yes, I had to hobble away and leave the mower there because uh, I think I just tore it again. Uh, well, freshly torn, I guess. It wasn't all the way mended because uh, it only happened like a week and a half ago. So, naturally, the smart thing to do is not mess with them and, and, and leave it alone. Uh, but I'm going to put some pants on. Uh, I have some uh, long socks. Uh, and I'll put those Crocs on with the lawn socks. I won't have to worry about it. But this right here, I'll be sweating. It's 100 degrees out. But I got my bee suit, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest what I need to cut to with that. If, if for some reason they can get through that and, and bother me more, then I'll, uh, I'll just have to give it up. But I'll probably do that section last, and I'll, I'll go on the very opposite end maybe and, and maybe have better luck. But... Well, wish me luck, guys. I'm going to go finish it up, and hopefully I can be back on here and let you know that everything went okay. So, see you then. This day's sucking. Hey, I have some word of advice for you guys. Don't even never do this. Don't do this. Never. Ever. Uh, but I have some words of advice. If you do something stupid, make sure you get it on tape. Uh, I'm not really sure which tree it was that they're around... Uh, I want to I want to say it's that tree over there uh, but I went a little closer and uh, started getting this tree here and they just freaking bombarded me uh, I'm not sure you probably want to even see them on tape if they come out here because they're so small I didn't even see them I mean they're not even the size of a bee I guess I, or they're just really really quick I'm not sure exactly where they're at but I know they don't like the sound of that lawnmower I think they started over there but uh i'm gonna go ahead and safely grab this lawnmower in my protective gear and head to the opposite side i don't even see anything like like buzzing around like any swarm or anything but hornets live in the ground and I've heard them killing people because the swarms, uh, man, they hurt. Like I'm still, I still have uh, tingling, about eight different sharp pain tingling. It's burning. It's not. Uh, that's what she said. It's not uh, like a bee sting. Uh, it, it's uh, the. You're supposed to pull the little needles out because they have a little, uh, a little uh, uh, ball on the end of their. Uh, There's the, a sac. It's called a sac on the end of their, their uh, stinger. So it still pumps it inside of you. So you need to get the stinger and take it out. I was so mad, I, 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 it's still in there pumping away. That's what she said. But uh, I'm gonna go to this end of the lot and start doing some uh, work in this bee suit. Freaking out here, hopefully it's bring some uh I'm just going to talk to you later. I just want to make sure that if something really tragic happened to me while I was doing that for me and I died. Didn't you really see me one last time because hopefully it's not to be. If you're wondering why I'm down here in the grass, uh, like I just showed you, the audio stopped around this point. I had to do some Columbo slash murder she wrote out here. Um, and see what tree I was by and, and get down in this all this grass and try to find my uh, <clears throat> Microphone this one here is the wireless Microphone it's kind of hard to find in this tall grass, but I found it <clears throat> 30 minutes later Okay, I don't know what I was saying. It had to be something really brilliant So I apologize for that nugget of uh, knowledge that you missed you probably missed a few. That's what she said jokes and some uh, a lot of TMI and useless information as well. So you're welcome for some of the people that like to fast forward. And uh, oh, today is not being my day. I know I said it a few times. And uh, hey, your day starts 
whenever you restart it, okay? So we can restart your day anytime you want. So I did. I'm like, I want to cut the grass. It's meditational. Well, I'm going to restart it again and put this on and cut the grass and uh, videotape for you guys. Well, lost my microphone. After this, it's going to be freaking positive. The most positive you can even imagine. I'm lying. It's not going to be that even that great. But as long as I'm alive at the end of this video, that's positive enough, guys. So I can make another one-hour vlog for you. So, okay. Hope no bear jumps out of that freaking tree. But I'm going to check it out because that's what I do. Okay. No bear. No raccoon. All right. See you when I get done. Or when I'm finished, finished. Go post stop recording. Hey, I'll do something smart uh, for once. So I got the bee suit on. I'll show you the bees instead of not having one at all. Uh, when it's hot outside, you'll see more and more of the bees outside of the box uh, because it is hot in there. Uh, you'll see a few out front. Uh, they stay out front and they, uh, they get the wind to go inside and outside the box. Uh, they, uh, every now and then, they'll switch up and they'll do that and the back the back the same way there'll be a beard on the back of the box if it's really really hot it's not that bad they're in the shade but that's their entry point right there uh in the back and there's an entry point in the front so they have flowage uh, all the way uh through this one here is being a little nosy this bee that's on me but uh yeah that's that and i'll uh i'll open it up too while I'm here, I'll show you how many about that's in there. I'm not gonna take any frames frames out, but I did fill the, the water up last night and it's about a fifth of a way gone. Take this top off and I, and I have it tilted like that. So it's, it's resting on the back of that. So there's air that gets through there. It's pretty glued together. So there's a lot of them in there working. Okay, I don't want to crush you guys. I'll put you down this way. Okay, I'll take this top off. Oh, I got this glued on good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's quite a few in there, guys. The queen bee's in there somewhere. I'm not gonna lift any frames up, but I'm gonna try to put this down as quiet and as carefully as possible not to crush, not to crush them. Uh, might have to do that with uh, uh, both hands. That's what she said. But once you, once you put it on here, what you want to do is kind of scrape it on like that. So you scrape them off. And these guys here, come on, get out from under there. I don't want to kill you. Okay. There we go. Okay, they're in there. Uh, I'll put the top back on. Like so. I'll latch it in the front and I'll move it up barely just so that is open. Okay, now they're not liking it. Okay, sorry guys. I had to show the viewers on, on the camera. So, okay, back to cutting grass. I've already got the circle around here so uh, she could just go around the outer perimeter and they won't, they shouldn't bother. They don't, uh, they don't even sting me when I don't have a, a suit on really nice bees but the hornets are another problem okay let me finish this up and i'll see you inside unless something tragic happens or something exciting happens uh but tasha's uh getting changed and she's going to come out here and cut the uh field of the grass the major part of the grass i'm just getting all the corners around the trees around the fence and stuff so okay see ya I finished with what I'm going to do today, guys. I just did the backyard section, the back backyard section, and I wore out. Uh, 
I think it's some good news though, that it turned around for the best. Well, really good. I mean, uh, I got three sales for uh, hoodies, uh, jackets, and another hoodie. Well, I got two hoodies on one and then uh, another hoodie and another jacket. So I thank you guys for, uh, let me go inside guys, it's inside out here. But uh, I do want to thank you guys for visiting the website using that coupon that I put out. I had to put a coupon out because it started slowing down on sales and that's what helps keeps the channel going. Uh, without you guys, it wouldn't, it wouldn't keep going because I've been putting a video out every single day like these vlogs, like getting crazy stuff for you guys, for the vlogs. So uh, just like the reenactment I did running in the house, you know, it's just something that I added extra, you know, to be funny in times of uh, when it ain't funny. So uh, I just stuff my head thinks about what would be funny, you know, watching the video and not be all negative all the time. So, uh, uh, so I'm gonna lead up to what, what I was gonna say of the hot dog, the original hot dog factory. If you saw that video, if you saw that video of the original hot dog factory, the review that first time that uh, Tosh and I went, I said that I wanted to do 20 hot dogs with the sides and do some kind of made up challenge and, and showcase all their, uh, all their uh, hot dogs they have and some of the sides. Well, uh, the owner had got back with me after I told him I would like you know to do something like that if, uh, if they uh, sponsor, uh, somebody sponsors it. So, uh, Casey uh, Carter had actually sponsored the whole video and gave me extra. So the extra money, I'm going to make a plaque uh, because the company asked if I had something to put on the wall, like a banner or something of me doing the challenge and my YouTube channel. So I'm going to spend the extra 80 and get a, a, a plaque uh, so I can spend all the money that she had uh, gave me. The owner is so nice to come in an hour early and make all those hot dogs for me on a Sunday. So I'm going to be doing that. And um, so I want to thank you, Casey, um, before the video even comes out. I want to thank you very much for that. Uh, if, if, if it is out, uh, please check it out. Uh, but I, I really don't think it is. I might put it on the screen when it's probably going to come out. Because by the time I edit this, I'll know, I'll know about, about when that's coming out by then. So please uh, look right now. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to relax. There'll be a lot of Gatorade. And um, I'll be back with you later. Uh, supervisor's here, so i got to go. Go will stop recording. Hey, I want to wrap uh, today's vlog up. Uh, just got done getting the lawnmower, the zero turn out the out, out the ditch. Uh, she went, got real close to the ditch, and uh, and it got stuck, and the deck got stuck right there. The deck got stuck. Jesus, people. Um, but I got my my trusty trusty gray goose, uh, the truck out there, and uh, and got the zero turn out with the chain but i had to go down the hill in the front yard and then almost got my truck stuck i uh, had to get some um some of them scrap uh planks for the the uh the uh, fencing and uh put them under the front and the back of the tires and i was like two foot from going in the ditch and the creek so uh, we did uh did get the truck out uh so back inside and just want to let you guys know like I said uh, uh, the day gets better um, as you go along it's just uh, it depends which way your brain is thinking and um, in AA um, I've, I've learned that in there that that I try to think positive the more negative you think the more negative stuff that's going to happen because you're going to look for it and you're going to see it because you're trying to find it because you're looking for negative stuff but uh like today, when I started the mower, I was going to meditate. Like, you know what? That's very meditational. I'm going to do that. And um, so I was trying to start my day over because I, I was not happy. Um, come to find out, the, the owner of the uh, uh, establishment, his uh, sister, I think she was having, co she had COVID. She was getting really good, and then she died. Uh, so... Uh, uh, keep the, his family, Elwood's shack uh, in Memphis, Tennessee. Keep him and his family in in your uh, thoughts, your positive vibes, your meditation, your prayers, what have you. Um, uh, it to me, uh, and I told you before about the job and and me 
potentially getting a thousand or more today. Um, and it would be real, real, uh, bad for me to really be mad when something like that happened. Um, <clears throat> and I'd like to add though, the gentleman that's supposed to get back with me had nothing to do. Well, he knew the, I guess he knew the guy from business, but he, the guy that actually set the whole contest up was a third party. So, uh, the gentleman, uh, sister that had passed away, uh, the guy still could let everybody know, you know, he, he, he's in charge of that event. He could let everybody know that, that he didn't have to say that his, uh, uh, family member died, but he could say, Hey, it's canceled. Something tragic came up, uh, and let us know ahead of time. That was his job to do, not Elwood Shack. So Elwood Shack, uh, uh, like I said, I hope, hope, uh, you guys stay strong and, uh, and, uh, pull together as a family and uh, get through this uh, hard times. Um, but I told the guy, uh, I'm not trying to mention names either, but the guy that actually third party that set all this up, uh, I had told him, you know what, when my daughter passed away on March the 6th of this year, I, uh, I let people know, you know, not like right off the bat, like it was a, a few hours when Tasha was driving to St. Louis while I was in the passenger seat and I was trying to call family before they find out on the internet uh, and stuff like that. But I got to call in places, looking at my, my schedule, calling places, letting them know that, hey, I'm going to have to push this back. Uh, something happened and uh, tr real tragic. And uh, I'll talk to you later about it, but I, I can't make this event. Uh, so, uh, I took that upon myself to to do that, and that's something that that's tragic it had to me. To me, uh, no matter what happens, uh, it's my obligation to uh, to to let people know, you know, because uh, it, it, it they have other stuff to do as well. Uh, but uh, with that said, uh, I did uh, go ahead and and uh, finish the day off of taking a shower, and I want to relax and not do any editing. But I want to let you guys know. You know, just uh, try, to, try to think positive. I need to do it more and more. Um, I did a lot when I was going to AA meetings, um, and it's just uh, something that uh, that I need to work on. You know, I'm not perfect, guys, um, but uh, but uh, with stuff that happened today, I'm glad I, I ended in a good note. So with that said, good night. Go post stop recording. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the the address is www.DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you, so I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss, and have a great day. Let's meet other plans.